So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back on there really quick. Uh, of course, Pokemon Go video. So of course, um, I was gonna say that I'm not really big new today though, but we did get a lot of new info, a lot of new stuff for Pokemon Go though. Of course, um, made kind of a little I felt like I was just hearing stuff. Um, I'm a little off though of my beat because I've not recorded in the last couple of days, and I'm just like, I'm fine, like a day and a half, pretty much though. But it feels weird. Like I feel like I'm so out of focus right now though. But um. Of course, though, we got some new news for Pokemon Go, though. But, of course, we got to do a blog post from, of course, their Twitter. Um, usually that comes out with, like, the Legends, of course, um, Pokemon Go specifically. We get, like, a new blog post and stuff like that, update, they just have, um, everything on there ready and stuff like that. Of course, though, but yeah, I, I am probably going to upload this video. Yeah, I'm going to probably upload it right when I'm done, right when I'm done with it, though, because this doesn't, this probably won't take that long. Plus, I'm going to probably talk about some more particular stuff in the future. So that's pretty good. I get up just like way off my beat today. So um yeah. Ooh. Yeah though, um just get back on my beat and stuff like that, of course. Um but yeah, uh Pokemon Go of course now it's uh do go fest of course Berlin, uh the ticket, uh Shaman, uh the date stuff like that, of course good take in Berlin, Germany? Is it Germany? Uh, yeah, Berlin stuff like that, of course. Um but yeah, um it's busy right now. We got a lot of info on this stuff, though. Of course, right here it says trainers are ready for Go Fest. Of course, this year is going to be, you know, we got the early leaks in June and, of course, July and stuff like that. Of course, that's when Go Fest is going to take place. June 5th, I believe. We're going to start getting. We already have the info like we did, like, last year, and, of course, you know, with the Kansas Tour, the Justice Tour this year, and stuff like that, of course. So, we are next year to be the Home Tour, etc., etc. Like, we know, like, pretty much, like, it's just, of course, it's like in the beginning of the year. There's more in the summertime. Which makes sense because you know, kids are out of school, they're going to be um, out doing stuff, of course going to a mall, maybe, I don't know. I mean, you know, COVID's kind of gone out a little bit though, because you know, like, you know, they're not public anymore, etc, etc, and stuff like that, of course, but, but yeah. Um, of course, we already know we got the tickets leaked early, we got, of course, stuff right here, um, it's going to be on July 1st, um, um, we already know the tickets got, let's go back to the tickets, uh, we already know the tickets got, actually, let me just scoop them. Uh, we already know that tickets got leaked out early and stuff like that. We, we already knew about that. That was coming up in everything, of course, again. Um, we know it's going to take place in June. Of course, July 1st, it says on Friday, July 1st, 2022. This, um, July 3rd, 2022. July 3rd, 2022. Um, of course, Berlin and stuff like that is going to take place. Germany. Uh, we already got, like, locations confirmed. We got the ticket, of course, like I said. That got leaked way earlier. Than, like, the, then, of course, we got the information breakdown, like, all the Pokemon, all the new shinies. I can look the videos from around me, I have above for more, more um, information and everything, of course, though. But yeah, um, because the uh, same ads at the game now, which actually it's not a really big surprise there, right? The most you know, over Shaman of um, getting leaked. I was like, it was so obvious because of the color scheme that got leaked. And I think, yeah, because the color scheme was, um, it was like pink, yellowish, I think, white, and that's usually Shaman's color. Of course, the pink, um, Flower on head symbolizing for the sky and stuff like that, though, of course. Yeah. Yeah, thank you to Legends for all the info as always. And of course, also, I uh, actually, just to get this out of the way, we do have to make the Latios and Latios stats right here, of course. The Latios, the Latios. Uh, of course, we have the full stats for the Pokemon you can use. Um, get the event, break it down, and everything. I figured I'll put this out a little early just because. Uh, not really early, but I figured I'll put this in the video just because I completely. But no, no, it, I it just got mad at a couple days ago. So I was like, I figured, I might as well just put it in the video just. Yeah, because I always do it anyway. That I did for Landers, I did it for Kegs, Comic, and the Mega Update. Like, it's almost like in a week, Pokemon Go did like four or five things, and it's been crazy for me though, so. Yeah, it's been that kind of week though. And I'm, I'm really on my game right now because recording, I'm just like. Because I just came back into walking my dog, so I feel hot. So I'm just like, okay, a little nervous. Back in this video of. Yeah, typical YouTube stuff though. Again, I'm a goof. You guys know how I am though. But yeah, I figured I'd get this out of the way first, just because. Um, he's been on here for a couple days, so just kind of break me down, go over thing. Yeah, it seems like, yeah, like, a lot of, yeah, a lot of the yeah, going rush around pretty much in Zyklon, so yeah, a lot of Dragon types, which makes sense, they're going to take a lot of damage as well, just because Dragon types do take a lot of damage when you want to climb up against yourself, or fairies or ice, though, so. Yeah, that's kind of okay, though, you can't really take that much in ice, because it does do a lot of damage. Sometimes, I mean, the type moves don't do that much, but, um, I still break up, though. So yeah, like I just yeah, a lot of that I'll go rush around and cyclone pretty much. Of course got guard chomp, um, um Dark Ride, which actually I think it's coming back into the event though, so you guys are gonna be happy about that. For me it's gonna be really, yeah, like, we're kinda going to Sinnoh, like the official event Sinnoh Pokemon. Which makes sense because of course we've got, you know, Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl, 
last year. I mean, the rest of it, I haven't spawned around with that, though. But still does make sense in the grand scheme of things, though. But yeah, I just want to kind of get this one out, though. Of course, you guys shout out Mambo Swine, Revival, of course. Uh, I think I saw maybe two of the Ice Move, or that was Landorus. That was Rival Landorus. Yeah, of course, you can use them. Of course, the, their Mega Ship user. Uh, a lot of you got somebody else in the already with each other though. Them Hound Doom, we got you know, a lot of dark, yeah, basically a lot of dark and ice type moves. Yeah, dark moves, ice type moves. Yeah, a little stuff like that though. So yeah, I figured, I figured I'd just put that in the video. But of course, we got the full on this team right here though. Um, I never saw it, I just kind of wanted to get some of that stuff out of the way first just because it's so simple and easy, of course. But yeah, July 1st, of course, the third 2022 of this year. Bro, Bur Bridzer, Gar Gar yeah, this is Gar Tank. Gar 10, Berlin, Germany, of course, could be the um, main event for Go Fest. So, of course, that's where everyone's going to meet up. There's Kitch Pokemon, too, because of course, we've got a QR code right there, of course, and get a ticket for at least 30, what, two pounds, I believe. That's how it is in Germany, pounds. Of course, um, the early access, of course, is on um, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., which is a typical time. Um, and, of course, the Germany admission, of course, is 24 uh, pounds, I believe. Yeah, I think it's pounds. Or, it has a gyro. That's a great thing. Well, the two currencies, I always kind of forget them. Because I, I do remember it, but I kind of usually do forget anyway. That would good. I don't love in Germany, but it definitely doesn't feel of course. But yeah, um, yeah, basically, for the person who's taking this, for that, of course. For all non ticket for all ticket and non ticket holders, we'll have a chance to get, of course, five star raids. Pokemon, you can access our Cur um, Cur Cur Curlia, Cresselia, and of course, Dark Ride. They will have Shinies. I already have my Shiny Dark Ride. The one I already want high HP, high attack. No, it's high HP. High attack. That's one that I love though. But or any stacks have like HP defense. I love the light up from last year from Gulfest was so awesome. Like it was just so freaking good last year. It was so good though. But yeah, um it definitely does make sense though. Just because you know Sino Shame. These are like the three basically mythical slash um special event ticket, you know, purchase whatever Pokemon I really want to go back I mean Dark Rider literally you get like a you get a good side and get them instead of games. But um it's literally, it's literally like it's literally like that though. So yeah, for all the ticket and non-ticket holders, that's a really good deal though, because again, Dark Rise is a pretty rare Pokemon to kinda of can go. I know it's used around Halloween like it was. Last year how Halloween was so good. Um of course like say you get Priscilla and stuff like that backup again. Again, they're pretty much to each other, you know, opposite and stuff like that. Light and darkness. And of course Shaman will be available via special field research for all ticket holders in a sky form. So yeah, you can get I because we've seen it in early access as we can see like it's it is regular. Again, everybody thinking it's going to be like Hoopa where you get the candy and change its form because you can do it with Hoopa, but you do need candy for it again so it can de go back to its regular form. But everybody doesn't even like care. Like Hoopa, um, like again, you gave, you gave a Hoopa for pretty much last year, so in the season of mischief. And that was, you said that was so long ago. That's really last year. It felt, it felt so long. That mischief felt so long. Uh, we're on three months though. And the team's like, okay, we're going to make Pokemon go. Of course, you know, well, you know, everybody can do this fairly fetch for free. Again, they did this last year for Meloetta as well, like, they gave us Meloetta for free at a during, I think, was it during the Epic Fest, one of the two, uh, last year, when they gave that out, um, they gave it Meloetta for free for everybody, and that was actually pretty good, I still like that, that was actually pretty cool, but yeah, uh, I hope I can get it in sky form, again, the, if you get to see it in the regular form, in the, in the, um, post and stuff like that, of course, to get the picture, so I feel like they're gonna give that one up for free, this one probably too, again, they I feel like they'll give out that one again. You can always, you can um, counter it with the sky from there. Like, you know, again, it might be a chance. I feel like it could be a chance, might be a chance. I don't know. Of course, we have event themed um, field research, special trades um, add up to, no, make up to six. Of course, special trades, there'll be a status reduction like they were doing a lot. Screenshots, of course, surprise screenshots. Um, if you do the buddy method, so if you pet, feed, walk the buddy, and typical stuff like every 30 minutes, you can't get it on surprise screenshot. That usually resets it though. So, about every 30 minutes, you want to say, okay. All you're doing like the buddy method, or you're just trying to give that stuff specifically though. Uh, creators, there'll be a lot of um, autograph, um, there'll be an autograph a session, so like all content creators and stuff. Basically, the event is basically when content is quick. Again, for Go Fest, you usually have a lot of content creators, a lot of people doing Pokemon Go stuff. Um, like Jordan Club, Billy, I think like Pokedexy, like everybody and their mom's just like doing content like that though. So basically, a lot of content creators on our graphs and stuff like that, of course. But for the four different habitats, of course, with each having their own collection challenge. Well, that's kind of cool. So, for electric habitats, there'll be electric, oh, electric garden. We'll have Sumi and Voltorp, Combi, Fungus, which is really good. That's a good shine. That's a good one for getting um, extra stardust. Helioctile, Wendy, um, Kels will have. Feebats, Woobats, 
course luck, and of course luck, I can't uh, Pampor, uh, you get in the Living Meadow, you have Scyther, Gallery of Bones, which is really good. That does have a shiny, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Yamba, Yamba, um, um, Yamba is a little cheap. Um, Pants Age, the modern rocks have. I'm going like all over the place. Rock and roll, uh, pants here. No pants on. Semi star, I think. That one was pants here. Um, pants age. Pampor. They're, they're the beautiful starters. They're on the exclusive. I think each country. I think like for USA, like Pampor. I think Spain has and Germany has. Uh, pants here. Rock and roll, and of course, um, Ricardos and, um, Darmet. Um, regular Darmet. Um, Darmaka. It does have a chance to be shiny, but all, all, pretty much all my chance is shiny, but Pampor. Uh, yeah, the, um, Pampor, Prince Age, Leoctel, Cone, Begin, of course, Sumi, Vulture, because they did just come out, like, these three brands came out uh, last year, so, makes sense. Um, Shiny Pokemon will have, uh, Pantsier, okay, so it's debuting, we have Shiny, you know, Pantsier debuting, of course, you need Universal, and for the Kinesis, to for it to evolve. Oh, Shiny Fungus, so yeah, Shiny Fungus is, I like, the, I like the purple, there's black on it, like, it makes, it's a poison type, but it makes it look a lot more poisonous. Uh, Claim the Free Pokemon Go. T-shirt and of course in game, which I think should be available for everybody anyway, because I think we had that last year. Uh Ray Lover add-on for extra 10 bucks you'll get 12 of the 12 free orange Dray passes every day. So when you go to the gym spending, do a raid there. You get free um free pass, of course you only really spend gem. Five dozen experience for each raid, which is insane. This up to 12. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I can't do that math right now. Uh, so we get times four is six, and of course times three is second candy for each raid as well. The critical hatch has the add-ons, another ten dollars is half a distance or times two um catch candy start to of course uh, experience for hatching eggs. So basically when you hatch eggs you'll get this um bonuses at speed, catch candy of course on starters. Not a bad deal, like, this actually is really good. I was working out too a little bit though. Yeah, but yeah, not a bad deal though for Pokemon Go somewhere around there. So yeah. I just think I wanted to kind of cover gold today again. I want to make the video kind of short. But for all this money though, I think it's pretty worth it though. Again, you get all the terrain spawns, you get Shaman, you get, again, like I said, we'll probably give it up for free, like last year, Metal Weather, Metal Weather. We'll probably do that as well, just give it up for free, give it up for free and stuff like that, um, basically, like we did last year. But yeah, NetPass spawns, like, this is a really good event. Like, so far, for GoFest this year, I think it's going to be um, pretty good. <clears throat> oh, some of my voice though. This is going in now, I have no idea why. But yeah. Um, again, Cresselia, Dark Ride, that's a really good deal for everybody, for basically for free, you give it out for free. The, um, extra stops, the, um, we spend a stop and get a gym pass, the orange ones, when you need a gym, you get, like, free, and pretty much, that's really what this whole experience, like, so handy, that's a really good grind. Uh, new shinies, again, Fungus, if you want, you want to get those spawns 24-7, you get some more Stardust, so you get a star piece, you can have, like, Stardust, you know, half off, like, distance and stuff like that, of course, Stardust Boost. Uh, Gang Shaman and Sky Form's really good. Again, we could get a Shaman, regular Shaman is regular form. You get candy for it to go to Sky Form, but it in the future, they'll probably do that. We get through research. Um, it's really good. Special trades, snapshots, again, this typical stuff though. Like, this is all just very, very typical stuff for Pokemon Go. But not bad though. Like, this event's really, really good. Again, Buffet 2022 seems really good though. Right so, yeah, see you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, stay safe. Watch your own. God bless all of you for going out. I'm going to wear a mask on. Don't be ready to do it. You might get if you can. Uh, drink some water, chest some grass. Um, go outside. Go walk. I don't know. See, what you can think about all the things, of course, like, shit. Um, again, very simple, very easy. Um, again, if you want to get the money, go ahead. You have the money, you can. But even for non ticket holders, you'll still get the shinies. Like last year, like with um, the Jojo Tour this year, like this year was just like other than saying, other than saying, even for free people, of course, we can get like uh, good we have the Ho Ho jo Jojo Tour. We have like, you know, the Ho Ho Lugia um, mask slash wings for Ho Ho, the Lugia mask. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, we can get like a Dark Ride Cresselia thing. Dark Ride Mask Cresselia back. Which I mean, um, hairstyle, I don't know, something like that though. Um, they could do that though. But yeah, not bad spawns and stuff like that. Of course, again, boom, just from that out. Um, it is worth it though. Like I said, even for non-ticket holders, you'll, even, you'll probably have a lot of friends who do raids, you can both to each other. Uh, trust me, you've got a lot of friends who can invite you to a lot of raids, all spawns, because to increase the for free play people, like me. Um, because it's Pokemon Go, I mean, I don't mind though, but, um, on the other hand, it's still decently good as well, though. But, um, yeah, like, it's, it's all this stuff is pretty good, actually. Um, for non ticket holders, regular holders, doesn't matter. Again, it's still gonna be fun for the Again, the free stuff, it's not, again, you gotta cook challenges and stuff like that. Of course, not gonna be as crazy, but 
it's still gonna be a Disney Disney. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna be able to show those, yeah. See you guys there, though, you know.